Alt tab to JMO Molecular Orbitals MOs, during a PowerPoint presentation. This video has two parts. First, a couple of slides showing how a normally flat molecule can be severely bent and what happens to a pi MO in a bent molecule. Second, how to calculate and save a molecular orbital in WebMO, then display and customize it using JMO. Torture testing aromatic molecules, a 180 degree bend in teropyrene. Atoms of naturally occurring molecules mostly have the well-known geometries, trigonal planar, etc. However, in some synthetic molecules, and even some natural ones, the atoms can be distorted significantly from the normal geometry. Specifically, one might ask how does geometric distortion affect the chemical and spectroscopic properties of the molecule? Consider teropyrene, a planar aromatic molecule containing 10 fused benzene rings. It has 18 pi bonds, with the lowest energy one spread out over 36 carbons. This is a closer look. All aromatic molecules, at least the flat ones, contain one pi bond in which the pair of electrons is shared by all the sp2 atoms. This type of bonding is also present in graphite and graphene. A cyclophane contains an aromatic ring or ring system and a carbon chain that connects two non-adjacent carbons. The shorter the chain, the more the rings are distorted. Teropyrenophane was synthesized in 2009 by Graham Bodwell, Brad Lerner, and Louise Daw of Memorial University, St. John's, Newfoundland. In this cyclophane, the opposite ends of teropyrene are bent to within nine angstroms of each other. To test how the bend affects pi bonding, the chain was replaced with hydrogens and the orbitals were recalculated. Remarkably, the pi bond looks similar, except that the lobe along the outer surface contains gaps. This is a closer look at the lowest energy pi bond of teropyrenophane. The inner lobe is continuous, but the outer lobe has gaps, presumably because it has stretched across a larger surface area. Okay, how is the pi MO visualized in JMO? First, we will use WebMO to calculate the molecular orbitals of teropyrene. This is the optimized geometry, and we will use it for a molecular orbitals job. This will use the Gaussian program. Set the job name, the calculation, which is molecular orbitals, the theory, the basis set, Continue. When the job is complete, click the job name and choose the MO. The one we are interested in turns out to be number 84. We want to save this so it can be opened and displayed later in JMO. Click the Save As button. Save as a Gaussian cube and enter the path and file name. Also, we need to export the molecule itself. Copy the window contents with a Control-A, Control-C keystrokes. Paste it into a text file, name it. And this one we would say is a flat.mol. Now in JMOL, load the molecule. Create the MO surface with an isosurface command. The surface name, MO84, the sign parameter, tells JMOL to create both the plus and minus lobes of the MO. Cutoff gives the electron density at the surface in electrons per cubic angstrom. Resize the window. This JMO window is now running in the background. To switch between the PowerPoint slides and this JMO window, hit Alt-Tab keys. 